Welcome to this edition of the El Segundo City Council Recap. I'm your host, Martha Guzman Hurtado. Let's take a look at some of the items presented to the El Segundo City Council at their February 2nd, 2021 meeting. During special presentations, the City Council read a proclamation to honor the many black leaders who have contributed to the progress of our nation and publicly announced the month of February is Black History Month. Members of the City's Diversity, Equity and Inclusion Committee joined the meeting to accept the proclamation. Following the proclamation, Fire Chief Chris Donovan provided the COVID-19 update. Although COVID-19 numbers are still high in Los Angeles County, the county is starting to see a substantial decline in the number of cases and deaths compared to previous weeks. Also, ICU capacity has increased from 9.1% from 0% for the first time in a month. Additional good news as of February 2nd, the case rate, testing positivity rate, and healthy places index are experiencing a downward trajectory in LA County. At the state level, Governor Newsom lifted the regional stay-at-home order based on the increased ICU bed capacity, allowing counties to return to the tiered strategy. LA County is back in the purple tier. The governor also announced changes to the vaccine administration strategy to speed up distribution. Vaccines will be distributed and administered, prioritizing age groups rather than work groups. Vaccine distribution will move to a centralized approach to be administered by Blue Shield of California and Salesforce by Accenture. The current positivity rate is 11.2%, but it needs to be below 8% to move to a less restrictive tier. On January 29th, LA County updated its health order to ease restrictions, allowing for outdoor gatherings with a maximum of three households, outdoor dining, outdoor activities at the beach, parks, trails, and playgrounds with the proper safety protocols. The El Segundo Fire Department has administered 135 vaccinations, first and second doses to all fire personnel, some police officers, and critical staff. As of February 2nd, 917,491 vaccines have been administered in LA County. Fire personnel ordered 800 vaccines and made plans to vaccinate residents at Park Vista, members of the local school districts, and other critical employees. Fire Chief Donovan shared that there is a vaccine supply issue and does not know when they will be delivered. The All Hazards Incident Management Team will continue to work to find opportunities to make the vaccine available to El Segundo residents and employees. In the meantime, Chief Donovan encouraged the community to reach out to their health care providers or pharmacies to inquire about the vaccine. The city will be receiving more than half a million dollars in FEMA COVID-19 recovery reimbursements, bringing the total to more than $1 million. The city will continue to work to recover all costs incurred due to the pandemic. The City Council shared that securing an appointment via the county's website has been challenging, especially for individuals in the senior community who are not as tech savvy, and asked the fire chief to look into staff providing assistance to schedule their appointments. The City Council approved items 1 through 5 on the consent calendar. Item 5 to waive 50000 in permitting fees and associated costs for outdoor dining was called out for discussion. The item continues the outdoor dining program that is in place through the end of the year at no charge to local restaurants and businesses. During staff presentations, John Dickey with Quality Solutions shared the results of the 2020 Customer Service Survey and Net Promoter Score. This is the fourth time the city has conducted the survey to measure the city's customer service performance and identify areas of success and areas for improvement. Surveys went out to both residents and the business community. Results from the business community show a 47% Net Promoter Score, which is considered a good score for public institutions. A total of 282 businesses responded to the survey. The areas identified for improvement include business development and attraction policies, responsiveness, knowledge, and competency of the planning and building safety department for plan checks, permits, or inspection services. Areas identified as strengths include the responsiveness, knowledge, and competency of fire department and field inspection services, availability and responsiveness of police department, and the business license renewal process. Results from the resident survey show a 51% net promoter score, which is considered a respectable score. A total of 527 residents responded to the survey. Key findings include the following opportunities for improvement. Responsiveness and overall vision of City Council, condition of City Infrastructure, and Water and Sewer Billing Department customer service. Areas of strength include maintenance and upkeep of recreation and park facilities, quality of recreation and parks programs offered, availability and responsiveness of police department resources and services provided by the library, and responsiveness, knowledge, and competency of the fire and paramedic services. The City Council wants to increase survey participation, follow up with individuals to gain additional feedback, and also tie the survey to every transaction available on the City's website to receive immediate feedback. 
City Manager Scott Mitnick said he is committed to moving in that direction and will report back to Council at a later date with options. Council voted to receive and file the report. Information Technology Director Charles Mallory facilitated a city broadband discussion with representatives from AT&T, Verizon, Spectrum, and American Dark Fiber about improving broadband access and connectivity in El Segundo. The City Council shared their serious concerns and called on the companies to find solutions to provide better connectivity options for residents and businesses. The group agreed to work together to improve their systems and will continue the discussion with City Council. IT Director Charles Mallory and Project Manager Margaret Liu provided an overview of the Report and Issue website feature allowing the public to submit requests for services online. Margaret walked the council through the feature and encouraged the community to access the feature by visiting elsegundo.org and clicking on the Report and Issue icon on the home page. City Council suggested adding language to the feature to provide the public with a clear expectation of response time. The IT director agreed to look into that. Also during special presentations, the City Council approved the 2021 legislative platform that encapsulates the city's official positions on proposed regional, state and federal legislation. They made a last minute amendment to the platform and approved the item. The final presentation was a 2020 Economic Development Annual Report highlighting all the actions taken by the city to support business attraction and retention. Deputy City Manager Barbara Voss and Economic Development Coordinator Christina Ravellas shared how they had to shift their strategy amid a pandemic to help businesses navigate all the challenges. Some of the milestones included increased communication to the business community via email bulletins, virtual town halls, informational videos, website and social media campaigns. City departments worked together to facilitate facilitate outdoor dining options in response to the health orders. Looking ahead, El Segundo continues to thrive despite the pandemic and will be welcoming several noteworthy projects such as the Top Golf facility, the expansion of Beyond Meat and L'Oreal moving into the 888 North Douglas building. The city is also updating its downtown specific plan to bring more vitality to the area. City Council thanked staff for their good work and voted to approve and file the presentation. During reports, the City Council joined other cities across the region by adopting a resolution opposing Senate Bills 9 and 10. The bills threatened to erode local control over land use and zoning issues. The City Council opposed similar proposed housing legislation in 2020. To watch the complete City Council meeting for February 2, 2021 and learn more about the agenda items covered, visit elsegundo.org or watch the meeting on Channel 3. Thank you for watching this edition of El Segundo City Council Recap.